good morning everyone welcome to crypto network so to reach other networks host pcs most usually you know, utilize a single gateway and the gateway represents a single point of failure to the network if the gateway fails host uh, will lose access to all resources beyond the gateway to overcome a single point of failure and provide layer 3 uh, redundancy Cisco devices support three protocols that are hot standby router protocol HSRP virtual router redundancy protocol VRRP and gateway load balancing protocol GLBP so here uh, in this video we will understand the basic of hot standby router protocol HSRP and its configuration so uh, Cisco has developed the hot standby router protocol to allow multiple routers and multi-layer switches to masquerade as a single gateway and this is accomplished by assigning a virtual IP and MAC address to all routers participating in an HSRP group. So here uh, in our scenario we have already assigned an IP address to all the routers as well as to the host uh, okay so EIGRP has been uh, enabled all right so RSRP so uh, so now we will configure RSRP on our router 4 and router 6 that are uh, that are connected to uh, edge routers router 2 and router 3 and uh, router 2 and router 3 are uh, connected to the internet we have uh, redundant connections on router 2 and router 3 for router 4 and router 6 respectively so now we will uh, jump on uh, the configuration on router 4 and router 6 all right so uh, hsrp hsrp is configured on the interface that is accepting traffic from host all right so interface is first ethernet 0 oblique 0 0 oblique 0 all right so we have already assigned an ip address of 192.168.1.4 slash 24 on this uh, on this interface so uh, now standby standby uh, one command is specify the hsrp group to the interface uh, belongs to and routers within the same hsrp group must be assigned the same group number which can range from 0 to 255 0 to 255 in version 1 and expense the group range from 0 to 4095 in version 2 in version 2 all right so cisco cisco uh, most of cisco platforms only support 16 configured at SRB groups send by 11 and now uh, the IP address so the IP address of the virtual gateway in this time 192.168.1.1 enter okay so it is RP can also be configured on a VLAN interface on a multi-layer switch all right okay. so only one active and one standby router are allowed per HSRP group okay so the role of an HSRP router is dictated by its priority okay so priority 0 to 255 this is the range of the priority and the default priority is 100 
in HSRP and uh, a higher priority is preferred. All the priorities are equal if uh, then whichever router has the highest IP address on its HSRP interface is elected as the active router. So priority now we will uh, give 50 for, for router 4. Okay, so now send by 11 preempt. Okay, so if a new router is added to an HSRB group, it will not preemptively assume the role of the active router. Okay, even if uh, it has the best priority. In fact, uh, the router that is first powered on will become the active router even if it has the lowest priority. Uh, the preempt parameter will allow a router to forcibly assume the role of active router if it has the highest priority. Uh, the preempt feature is disabled by default. So let us enable this feature. Send by 11 preempt. Now, RSRP timers. So, send by 11 timers. So, hello packets are used to elect the active and standby router and to detect if there is a failure. By default, hello packets are exchanged every three seconds. HSRP hello packets are sent to the multicast address 224.0.0.2 over UDP port 1985. Uh, if no elections are occurring, only the active and standby routers exchange hello packets. Uh, by default, uh, the hold down timer is three times the hello timer and uh, the three times are 10 seconds for HSRP hold down timer. HSRP version 2 uses the new multicast address that is 224.0.0.102 to send hello packets. Okay, so now uh, we will manually adjust the error, uh, HSRP timers that are measured in seconds. 4 and 12 this time so the first timer uh, value represents the hello timer so 4 is the hello timer while the second represents the hold down timer so 12 is the hold down timer all right okay so uh, we have done on this router let us move on router 6 address 192.168.1.6 on this interface now send by send by 11 that we gave there in router 4 and IP address should be same 192.168.1.1 stand by 11 priority I will give 75 I want this router um, to become an active router now send my 11 preempt send by 11 timers 4 and 12 should be same on on both the routers Okay, so now uh, one thing is is HSRP interface cracking. So send by eleven track. Okay, so uh, HSRP interface tracking is used to track another end of the router where HSRP is enabled. In normal case, HSRP enabled router don't know whether other end is shut down or broken. So here in our scenario, uh, router six uh, router six will become the active router 
and the router for the standby. Uh, both router 6 and router 4 exchange periodic hello packets to update their status. If interface serial 2 oplex 0 uh, goes down on router 6 or uh, 3 uh, slash 0 goes down on router 6 or if both goes down on router 6, hello packets can still be exchanged with router 4 via interface fast ethernet 0 oplex 0. Uh, a router 4 is unaware that a router 6 has a failure and can no longer forward traffic to other networks. Router 6 will remain as the active router and the traffic will be black hole. So uh, to mitigate a scenario like this, SRP can track interfaces. Uh, if a track interface uh, fails, the router's priority is decreased by a specified value. By default, uh, the value is 10. So uh, we are going to track both the serial interfaces here to oblique 0 and 3 oblique 0. 3 oblique 0. Okay. So we have done uh, with the configuration. So let me. Okay. So to view the status of each SRP, HSRP group, the command is show standby. Show standby. Okay. So here we are on round six. The state is active. All right. So uh, standby. We have configured standby on fast zero and zero oblique zero. And the group number is eleven. Virtual IP is. 192.168.1.1 hello time 4 seconds hold time 12 seconds all right preempt is enabled active router, router is local local means router 6 standby router is 192.168.1.4 so 1.4 is router 4 So 1.4 is router 4. Okay. Priority of this router is 50. Expires in 7 seconds. Priority of local router router 6 is 75. So we have uh, tried serial interface 2 oblique 0 and uh, 3 oblique 0. And the decrement value is 10 default value okay so one more command to view a more abbreviated version of this output so show standby brief all right so interfaces fast ethernet 0 oblique 0 group is 11 priority is 75 state is active Active router, local router, router 6, send by router 192.168.1.4, and the virtual IP is 192.168.1.1. Alright, so let us verify. So let us configure the default gateway 192.168.1.1. Subnet mask slash 24 and the default gateway is 192.168.1.1. Post C 192.168.1.1. Default gateway and host D 192.168.1.1. So we have assigned the default gateway on all the host here. Let us check. So first, let us try to ping. Twelve So we are on host A. Okay. Let 
request timed out now we are getting reply okay now pinging 13.1 getting reply okay so so router 6 is an active router because the priority is 75 we have changed the priority to 75 from 100 that is the default priority so uh, 75 uh, priority 75 is of router 6 and priority 50 is of router 4 so router 6 is the active router and router 4 is the standby router there is result 192.168.1.6 next hop IP address okay now 13 192.168.1.6 okay so let us ping now 12.0.0.1 continuously okay and uh, let us uh, let us shut down fast internet zero oblique zero on router six. Infecti interface fast internet zero oblique zero. <coughs> Let's see. And then we will trace it as well. First request timed out packet drop. Second packet drop. Now getting a reply. Okay, so let us uh, let it let us resort. result 13.0.0.1 see 192.168.1.4 and now the default gateway is the virtual gateway 192.168.1.4 So uh, that is all in this video. Hope you enjoy and thank you again. Have a good day. Bye-bye.